Hey you guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a system where if you are holding a tool and then press Q, you can drop the tool. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing we're going to need is actual tools. Uh, so what you can do is go under the view tab and open up the explorer and properties. After that, if you want to make your own tools, you can just go under the workspace, click the plus and enter in a tool. If you can't find it, just search in tool in the search bar, just add in tool. And with your tool, you can click the plus, enter in a part and rename that part to your handle that you can just modify this tool to however you want. You could also get tools by going under the home tab toolbox and then just searching up random tools inside the toolbox. So for example, uh, a flashlight is a pretty common tool. So I can just click on the flashlight, press OK and then press yes to put under the starter pack. And then let's just do like another tool. Um, let's do, for example, some kind of sword. Just that first one. OK. And then yes to put under the starter pack. If you want to find where your tools are, just under the explore, find where starter pack is. Click on this little arrow and you can see that your tools are right there. Um, if your tools are not under the starter pack, uh, when you press play to test out the game, uh, they will not be starting in your inventory like this. So make sure you put your tools under the starter packs. Um, if you don't want the players to start off with the tools, I have a few tutorials that will be in the description and the pinned comment down below uh, that will teach you basically how to pick up the tools using different methods. So once you have your tool, what you want to do is go under the explore and then find the starter player, open that up and then find the starter player scripts. You're going to click the plus and enter in a local script and let's rename this local script to Q to drop just something simple. After that, you can now write what I write. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. So first, we're going to start off by getting some services inside of Roblox. So let's go local players equals to game colon get service. And then under the brackets, put in quotation marks, and we're going to write in players. And the second service we need is the user input service. So just go down the line. Let's write local user input service equals to game colon get service. And then inside the brackets, put in quotation marks. And this time we're going to write in a user input service. So your two services should look just like this. After that, we're going to go down a few lines and we're going to get some variables for like the player and our character. So the first one is going to be the actual player. So you can just write something like local player equals to it's going to be players and then dot local player. And then we need to get the character. So local character, and that's going to be equivalent to the player dot character um, or like if maybe your game just hasn't quite loaded the player dot character player dot character added colon wait so this will ensure that we have a character to work with after that we can now create our drop function which will drop the tool whenever we press q or in this case it could be any key and we can do that by writing local function and then let's name this function something like drop tool and then after that, just put in brackets. This will let Roblox know that this is a new function and just go down a line. And then now we need a reference for the tool inside the player. So we can do that by writing local tool equals to character and then colon. And it's going to be like a really long function name. This is going to be find first child of class. And then inside the brackets, we're going to put in quotation marks and we're going to write in tool. This means is we're just going to be finding like the first instance of a tool inside of the character. And then we're going to go down a line and we're going to check if there is a tool. So we can just do that by writing if tool then. So once we have found the tool that the player is holding, what we can do is just put it back into the workspace. So we can do that by writing tool dot parent equals to workspace. And then the last thing we want to do is position the tool where it's in front of the player. We can do that by writing tool dot handle dot position equals to and this is just going to be a character dot humanoid root part so make sure that humanoid root part is spelled exactly like this and then dot position that is our drop tool function the last part we need to do is call this function whenever uh, the player presses q or whatever hockey you want so to do that we can just go down two lines and then we'll just I'm going to create a new section called drop tool and here we can write something like user input service dot input began con connect function 
and then we're going to put in a set of brackets and inside the brackets we're going to write input comma and then game processed so what this means is whenever the user clicks any key on their keyboard um, everything under the script will happen and then we'll be given the key they clicked and if the game has processed it or not um, what game process means is um, essentially it's just like it's a check to see if the game has taken that key into effect um, so for example like let's say you're in the game type something in chat then like it picks up uh, you typing the letter Q if we don't check for game processed the game will just continue on with the code which is not something we want because we only want to drop the tool when the player is holding it not when they are typing something inside the chat so to check all that what we can do is write if input dot key code equals equals to enum dot key code and then put in a dot and here this is going to be the key code that you want the player to press on their keyboard to drop their tool I said it could be anything you want but for this tutorial i'm going to be using the letter q then we're also going to check so and, and then we're going to check if the game has processed it or not so in this case we're going to write and not game processed then so if we pass both of these checks then we can drop the tool by calling in our drop tool function so yeah that will be the entire script it should look something just like that so if i go test it out right here I can just walk around if i press q like right now uh nothing is really happening if i if i say pull out my flashlight and then i press q you can see the flashlight gets dropped just slightly in front of me pick it up drop it again whenever i press q uh, if i pick it up i try pressing like other letters they don't really do anything it only works for q if i don't have the flashlight out then if i press q nothing will happen and then let's say let's pull out the sword this also works with the sword like that and then lastly if i have the chat open while holding a tool and i type something with a q inside the chat and just send it uh, roblox will not drop our tool and just to show you that game process matters let's just quickly like remove that part of the script if i come back here and i hold out like my flashlight and inside the chat i type in something that has a q it will just automatically drop my flashlight um so yeah that's why we have that part inside the script yeah, that'll be it for this tutorial. Um, if you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.